this morning was wake up call. <laughs> um, obviously, there was uh, this is not the first time. So this is only the biggest reiteration of attempts like this. 25 people have been arrested in raids across Germany on suspicion of plotting to overthrow the government. They're accused of preparing to storm the German parliament building and seize power. The group includes far-right and ex-military figures and is said to have been led by a minor aristocrat. Well, let's speak to Dr Hans Jakob Schindler, senior director of the Counter-Extremism Project in Berlin. Good evening to you. Good evening. Thanks for having me. Thank you so much for being with us. Um, this story is like something from, I don't know, a thriller novel, a spy novel even. Um, uh, tell us the nuts and bolts of the story, if you will. How how has this group of people been able to get into a position where they've been you know, very seriously considering um, a huge plot to overthrow the German government? Yeah, this is really something extraordinary, even for Germany, where we do have quite an active and violent right, and extremist scene in the last couple of years. So these 25 individuals and 27 of their supporters are also under investigation, so 25 were arrested today. 130 locations in 11 out of the 16 federal states were searched, including two individuals arrested, one in Austria, one in Italy. And this plot has really everything. It has former politicians, a former member of parliament for the right-wing extremist alternative for Germany, AfD party. It has current military members, including one member of the German special military forces, the KSK unit. Um, they uh, started planning this plot in November 2021 and came into the focus of the police and intelligence services who were investigating another group that tried to actually kill the German health minister. And this is here is where the intersection of the Reichsbürger movement, uh, this to which these uh, individuals uh, who were arrested today uh, belong, QAnon, because they thought there is going to be a deep state invasion in Germany, and COVID deniers, i.e. those who want to kill the German health, federal health minister, Karl Lauterbach, really intersect. So Gosh. it's been quite a serious plot. So it's a planning. huge movement of people basically coming together. The Reisberger movement, QAnon, COVID deniers, all of these, all of these subgroups coming together to kind of fuel yeah. this. All elements from those ideas and ideologies come together, right. right? So the core cell is 25 people. The supporting surrounding people are 27. I'm quite sure as the investigations progress, there will be more identified because the Reisberger movement which is this uh, conspiratorial movement that beholds that the German Reich actually did not end on the 8th of May 1945 uh, and therefore still continues and therefore all political institutions and structures in Germany are illegitimate. Um, that movement, according to the German Federal Domestic Intelligence Service, has 21,000 followers, loosely organized, so they're not all of them close to this particular cell uh, today, but of course the cell today was the most organized and most violent, potentially, um, of, of that broader movement. Wow, OK. Um, what, what did these people want? They basically wanted to overthrow the German government. Why? Look, I mean, first of all, you need to understand these are highly delusional, but also highly effective in operational terms, individuals. Their ideology, conspiracy belief is that the German government is illegitimate plus elements from the QAnon uh, uh, ideology that says there is about an invasion of American deep state and other European deep state forces in Germany, and therefore we will need to take control. Their idea was not only to storm the parliament, but also to exert quite a lot of violence on a local level, power stations, they scouted some uh, German military installations. So they, their hope was to uh, uh, unleash a wave of violence and therefore create some kind of a civil war condition inside Germany. I mean, obviously, this would not have worked. The German it, government it, is not it that is much. just extraordinary, Hans Jakob, isn't it? I know. It? it is just ludicrous. <laughs> Goodness me. Um, how, how far did the planning go? How close did this group of people get? Fairly close, according to the indictment. So they procured weapons, they had plans, uh, they had a strategy in place. They've been working on this since November last year that already divided individuals who would be responsible for health, for interior policy, for foreign policy, for economic policy. So they were you know, in the process of building in parallel government. Wow. Um, so yeah, fairly close. That's why the police moved this morning. Goodness me. And there was you know, weapons, procurement, 
scouting of targets, etc. as well. So, um, gosh, it's an incredible story. Thank you so much for uh, bringing it to its full potential for us. And, uh, you know, obviously I'm kind of, you know, joking about it, but actually, um, I mean, it is it is incredibly serious. Just, just finally, does it make you really concerned about what happens in the underbelly of Germany, of German counter-extremism? Does that, does that worry the German public? I, I would think this morning was a wake-up call. <laughs> um, obviously, there was... Uh, this is not the first time, so this is only the biggest reiteration of attempts like this. About a couple of years ago, another network called Hannibal Network, similar idea, um, was arrested as well. They had already procured 20,000 body bags for all the people they wanted to execute once they take power. So it really shows that this intersection of um, violent right-wing extremism growing for the last decade, not only in Germany, but transnationally in Europe, as well as in America as well, plus the COVID crisis, plus the now cost of living crisis, energy crisis caused by these absurd invasion of Russia in Ukraine really creates an atmosphere in which people who have very warped ideological ideas but are prone to violence are actually feeling now a call to action. So it is a bit concerning, I have to admit. Wow, there is your warning, folks. Uh, thank you so much uh, for speaking to us, Dr. Hans Jakob Schindler, Senior Director of the Counter Extremism Project in Berlin. Great to have you join us.